Hi, welcome to Nona's Here. I'm Nona, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Now, I haven't done a Dollar Tree haul in a month of Sundays. I just haven't been there except to run in for one or two things that I needed for crafts. But today, I went back and I really hit the mother load. I bought a lot because the Dollar Tree closest to me had gotten out all of their things, or well, a lot of their things for Christmas. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got. Most all of them are Christmas things. But the first thing I got is not a Christmas thing. It is a broom handle. I need it for next year to fly around on. No, actually my craft broom broke, a broomstick broke, and I needed a new one. And this way I won't break my back trying to sweep up my craft room. If you sew or do crafts, you know how quickly that craft room or sewing room, the floor gets dirty. So I got a new broomstick. The next thing I bought was a birthday card. And if you aren't buying your birthday cards or anniversary cards or any kind of card that you need at Dollar Tree, you're missing out. They're 50 cents. They're great. And they have a wide selection. Okay, I also bought a package of Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix. Grumpy Grandpa has been working on the HOA budget. He's the treasurer. It all ends in December, thank goodness, and he can't do it again because he's done two years, two terms, and so he can't do it again. I need to check something. Something's looking funny on my phone. Hold on. No, it looks like it's recording okay. So anyway, I'm gonna make him some chocolate chip cookies. He's, he's been behind closed doors for like a week. All right, I also bought a package of Pillsbury chocolate fudge brownie mix. I bought some wrapping paper because I need to wrap a gift and I can use this for, for birthday, Christmas, whatever. I got some uh, 30 sheets of aluminum foil sheets because sometimes you just don't need big sheets of aluminum foil, so that's good, I got that. All right, then I got this cute little red tutu tulle skirt for our granddaughter. It has the fake fur around the bottom and she loves to dress up. And I'm gonna take this over at Thanksgiving so she can wear it all around for Christmas. So I got that. All right, everything else is, well, no, this isn't really Christmas, but this is craft. I got a block of styrofoam. Actually, I got two blocks, because you know, you never have enough styrofoam if you're a crafter. I got some red tea lights, and I got some tea lights that are in this little container. I got two of those because I just got some new candlestick holders for our dining room and these will sit down in and then I, I don't want to put real candles in them so those will work out perfect. Got two of those. All right, then I got, uh, boy, these have been hard to find. They haven't had these forever, the small ones. These, they call them display easels. And um, I just, they've had the big ones, but not the small ones. So I got two gold ones and a black one. Probably should have picked up more because now they're not gonna be around for Christmas. It was funny, I was going through the Christmas stuff and picking stuff up and putting stuff in my basket in the Christmas area. And so this lady said to me, why is there so much Christmas stuff here? This is when I had just run in for one thing a couple weeks ago, it was before Halloween. And I said, well, um, because crafters are looking for things to craft for Christmas. And she said, that picture above me is, looks crooked, but it's straight, my camera's just crooked. Anyway, she said, it's not even Halloween yet. 
why are you buying stuff for Christmas? I said, well, crafters are starting to craft for Christmas. So um, we have to come in and get things as soon as they start putting them out. And they're just now starting to put things out. And if we don't come in now, it'll all be gone. So we're looking for stuff as soon as they start to put it out. And she said, you're already thinking about crafting for Christmas? I said, oh yeah, we craft two months ahead of any season. She said, oh, and she just kind of rolled her head and shook her head, rolled her eyes and shook her head and walked away. I know she thought I was crazy, but that's okay. All right, so here's another thing um, that I, this was one of the things that I had run in and gotten. A cloche, you know, it's plastic. Well, I had a big tree, but um, I needed some smaller trees. And so now I can't find the package of smaller trees, but I bought a package of smaller trees to put in with the big tree um, to make this Christmas decoration. So I put the big tree in and I got a package of smaller trees. I put a medium tree and a smaller tree. And then I had a uh, uh, snow spray. So I sprayed it all and put snow around the bottom. And then I had little, I had mini bows. So I tied a mini bow on top of the big Christmas tree. And then I got, this is the other thing I ran in for when I got the cloche, I got this ribbon from Dollar Tree to put around the bottom. Okay. Unfortunately, they had this ribbon that day. So I really hit uh, uh, I was really lucky that they had the cloche and they had the ribbon that day. So those that day I got two things, this and this, and this is how I made it. Now this, will I'll show you how to make this on December 5th at 5 o'clock Eastern Time, 4 o'clock Central Time. Um, I'm participating in a open invite craft video. And this is one of the things that I made uh, for that video. So if you're interested in seeing that, it'll be on known as here. It'll be have a blue thumbnail because all of my craft videos have blue thumbnails. And this is one of the things that I make for that video, five DIYs for $5. And so um, if you wanna see how I did this step-by-step -step, using the cloche and this ribbon, That'll be on there. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta set this down. Okay, then another thing I picked up was this uh, Merry Christmas tag, you know, <coughs> to use for crafting. Okay, then I picked up, all right, this stocking. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but when I saw it today, I said, grab it. You know, I'll probably take all this stuff off and do something else with it. I just haven't made up my mind yet. But, you know, when you see things, you got to grab them because they might not be there the next time. Then they did have uh, their signs up. So I grabbed this sign and, you know, I'll paint the back and do something else with it. It's a cute sign, but I, I use it for the board itself to do, to do the crafting, all right? Then they had their white Christmas trees out. They didn't have any green ones, but I do still have two green ones in my stash. We had to go over to the um, off-site storage that we have, and I came home with three huge Christmas bins um, Grumpy Grandpa, look, we pulled out one bin and it's, and he said, Christmas craft supplies. I said, yes, that's it, pull it out. So I said, okay, we're ready. I said, no, 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 that's only, that says three, that says one of three. There's two more, you gotta find one of three and two of three. He said, you mean to tell me you've got three huge bins like this of Christmas supplies? I said, yes. So. So we had to, you know, they were right there. So we had to pull out all the, the other two bins 
And so that's why I really didn't need to go to Dollar Tree to buy a lot of stuff because I already had three huge bins of Christmas crafting supplies. And I did have one of these in the craft um, supply uh, bin, but when I saw the white ones, cause you know, some years you can find these and some years you can't find these at all. So when I saw these, I picked up two and I do have two green ones in my uh, stash. Then I have, let me see here. I have, um, I bought this and they just call this a tabletop decoration and it says harvest. I don't care what it says, I'm gonna paint it. And it's good for doing a lot of crafting. It's just, a, it's heavy, but it's flat. So you don't need anything to make it stand up. So it's good, you know, you can put Santa Clauses or, or uh, uh, snowmen or whatever you want to on the top, or you can paint this and do whatever you want to on the bottom. So this is a good thing to have for, for crafting, okay? Then I got, okay, I'll show you this. Um, this was hanging up, it's got a little fuzz on it. Santa Claus face, okay, isn't he cute? Look how cute he is, and look at his, look at his hat. Red sea, red uh, velvet with sequins, little tassel on the top. Get this out of the way. Some holly berries, and he's flat on the back. Now, I had gotten one of these already, one of those days that I just ran in and just needed something. And so I'll show you what I did with it. And if you wanna see how I made it, you can um, watch that December 5th crafting video. So this is what I did with it. Um, this, I just had this black oval wooden decor thing that they sell at Dollar Tree. And so I painted it with my ink chalk pen black. And then I hot glued the back of the Santa Claus. See, he's flat. I just hot glued it and put it onto the plaque, right? And then I had this in my stash already. And so I just hot glued it to the back and it already had a hanger on it. And this thing isn't heavy at all. So I'm just gonna use that to hang it up. Now, say you don't have one of these, cause I must've bought it in like in a pack of 10 or something a year or so ago. And so I had it in my stash. All you need to do is hot glue a piece of ribbon back here to hang it up with, okay? You don't need to have one of these. You can use whatever you have, but that makes a real cute Christmas decor for $2.50, all right? And again, the step-by-step -step directions, although you paint a black black on both sides, you hot glue the Santa Claus onto the plaque, you make a hanger, that's it, $2.50. That's the kind of thing you can do by going to Dollar Tree and getting supplies, and, it's, and you don't have to use chalk paint, you can use acrylic paint. I just had the chalk paint available. And here's another thing that I really needed because I had no red and white poinsettias left over in my stash. So I went and I got some beautiful white poinsettias. They had those out and some of them have the green centers. See how pretty? And then some, they were smaller ones and they had the gold centers. Now I'm only showing you two, trust me. In my craft room, I have like 20, all right? And then they had the red poinsettias. So, you know, I bought another 20 of these because in another week or two, all those poinsettias are gonna be gone. You won't be able to buy poinsettias to save your life. All right, and these are more of the green centered poinsettias. Then they had some other things with berries and holly leaves. So I found those, they were stuck like way in the back. Sometimes you have to look. And then 
These were some of the gold that had some of the holly leaves on them. So I found those. Sometimes you just have to really look. I mean, you know. All right, so then I'm going to do, I got this vase. It's just a real simple vase, but I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so this vase, just a real simple vase, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. Okay, so this vase, and then I bought, now I didn't even know this existed until a couple, couple months ago. I saw another crafter using it. It's color glue, jot, color glue. And so far, I've only seen it in green and orange. And um, I used it in green before. I'm going to show you what I did with it. And this is what I'm going to do with it again. I had used exactly the same vase, all right? And I poured the color glue into this vase. Sorry, I'll be right back. I poured it. Whoa, camera. I poured it into this vase, okay? And then I stuck all this fall stuff in. Now, I did this about three months ago. See all the fall stuff I stuck in? And now, and then I put some rocks in. You know, you can buy those bags of rocks. And I stuck those in. So now, see, I can hold it by the flowers. And so now everything's stuck in. But I can turn this and the glue doesn't move, but there's still like a little bubbles in there. And you can see, let's see, the glue used to be up to here, and now it's down to there. So I guess it hardened. But at first I was afraid if, I, if it fell over, all the glue would fall out. But see, the glue doesn't really move. I don't know whether you can see that. The glue doesn't really move, it's hardened. The glue doesn't move. But it has hardened enough that it's gone down from here to here, all right? And I guess eventually it'll all dry up, I don't know. And I don't know that you can see that there's rocks in there or not. And you can put any color rocks in there because um, they're all going to be covered by the green glue. So what I'm going to do, I'll be right back, is I'm going to use the same vase and I'm going to fill it with the green colored glue and then I'm going to stick white poinsettias in it. So we'll see. That's my idea. All right, next. Oh. I got grandpa a uh, red flashing nose. Now, if flashing bothers you, close your eyes on the count of three. One, two, three. See, flashing nose for him to wear. Okay, you can open your eyes now. The flashing's gone. We do, um, he and I, grumpy grandpa and I do Timu hauls, and so I'm the informative one and he's the entertainment. So I figured he can wear this for part of the Timu halls, but we'll have to tell people when we're gonna turn the flashing nose on. And it's on known as here, the same as my crafting videos. And you, it, you're more than welcome to come over and visit. And um, of course, if you subscribe to Known As Here and hit that notification bell and the word all, you'll be alerted every time we upload a new video. And um, we'd love to have you come over and watch our Timu hauls. All right, then the last thing is I got two styrofoam wreath forms. And I bought six mop, fuzzy mop heads. And the reason why I is, is it takes three of these to make a wreath. 
and I will try and find the link and put it in the description box down below of the craft videos from last year, the craft video from last year where I made wreaths using the uh, foam wreath and these. Cut them in half, wrap it around the uh, wreath form, well, it's a half, and glue it, and it makes a beautiful wreath. You wouldn't believe it, so let me show you. Okay, this was the first one I made, so I didn't give it away, but here it is. And on this one, I put three Christmas trees. They're kind of falling around because I've had it hanging up in my craft room, okay? This is what it looks like. I took a silver ribbon and hot glued it to the back to hang it up, all right? It really, I gave them away as gifts. I have to tell you, they were a big hit. Um, it looks much prettier in real life than maybe it does on camera. It's very, very fuzzy and furry. It's really quite pretty. Like I said, this was my first one, so I kept it kind of a trial because you have to work to get the mop uh, heads when you cut them to get them real close together so that there's no spots that are open, okay? And so I'm gonna make those this year again. And instead of trees, I got these and I'm gonna put, now get back there. I'm gonna put these in the middle like that. Something a little different. So I got a couple of these. And like I said, if I can find the craft video where I made that. Um, and you can see my crafts are very easy, fun, budget friendly, and beginner friendly. I, I mean, you know, I'm not using saws and drills and, you know, that sort of thing. Mine are very straightforward and easy to do. So I hope you'll come over and visit um, some of my craft videos. And I hope you come over, you'll come over and visit our Timu hauls. So subscribe, hit the notification bell and uh, the word all. And if you liked my Dollar Tree video, I sure would appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up. I, that really does help my channel and helps my channel grow. So thanks so much for watching today. And I hope to see you again very soon at Nona's Here. Bye.